we're going to, this is an equation of a circle in standard form, and they want us to put, um, actually, some books call this standard form, some books call this general form. I think the book in our district calls this general form. They want us to put it in standard form, which is this. I'll write it down here. X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. They want us to do that so that we can determine what the center, H comma K, and the radius, R, R. This is your center, and this is your radius. So in order to put this equation in this form right here, I'm going to have to, it's called completing the square twice. I need to complete the square on the x terms, and then complete the square on the y terms. And then I'll be able to know what my center is and my radius. So I'll do that right now real quick. So the first thing I'll do is move the x's together and the y's together. So x squared plus 2x, I'm going to leave a little space here in my equation plus y squared plus 4y. I'm going to leave another little space there. I'll erase this for some room. Equals 11. So I didn't change anything except just moving things around a little bit. In fact, what I like to do is put a little plus there and a plus there, and then I add that same thing to this side and that side. So whatever, I'll double underline this one. Whatever I put here for the x's, I have to also put on the other side because that's algebra. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. And the trick is to pick, take half of this number and square it. So what's half of two? One. Mm -hmm. And what's one squared? One. So I'm going to add one here, and I'm also going to add it on the other side. Okay? I'll do the same thing with the y terms here. What's half of four? Two. What's four squared? I'm uh, sorry, what's 2 squared? Half of 4 is 2, and 2 squared is? 4. 4, so I'm adding 4 there, and, then you add and I'm adding 4 there. Now, the reason I do that is because now I can group this together right here, and I can, com I can factor it. And how does that factor? It's going to be x plus 1 times x plus 1, which, what's another way to write that? x plus 1. Squared. Squared. That's why it's called completing the square. And what's this right here? Same thing. It's, at, it's y plus what? Uh, uh, 4. 2. 2. Times y plus 2. That's why I did half of that number squared. That's why I did half of, half of 2 is 1. And I had to square it because I am, because of... I'm trying to make this thing factor nicely into a perfect square. So what's y plus 2 times y plus 2? Y, uh, y plus 2 squared. squared. And what does that all equal? Well, what do I have to do with all these numbers? Add them together, so it would be 16. Good. And so what's the center? X, uh, 1. The center is, you got to be careful. See how there's a negative here? So it's the opposite of what's in here. So x minus 1. So it would be 0. No, what's the, what's the center? What is the h, what's the h coordinate of the center? Look 1. At, not 1. It's negative 1. Negative 1. Because positive oh, 1 is like minus a negative 1. Right? Uh -huh, no, so no, it's no, the op you're taking the opposite of what's inside there. And what's this, negative the y two. coordinate of the center? Negative 2. Negative 2. And what's the radius? Uh, four. The square root of 16 is 4. There's your information. Cool. And there's your equation. I don't know if they, the directions may have said find the center or it may have said find the equation. Either way, that's the point of doing that problem.